Um, hello everyone, this is Vanessa. So for some who have watched my previous videos, I have actually shared uh, on how to make efficient guessing of numbers instead of some random guessing or random listing. Remember that in, a, in exam, you don't have much time. So working within the time constraint, we have to always have the most efficient way to solve a particular question. And then something similar came out in PSLE last year. So this question that is uh, from that is taken from PSLE 2018, paper two, question nine. Mr. Tan packed 508 tarts into large and small boxes to sell. He filled each large box with 20 tarts and each small box with 12 tarts. All the boxes were full and there was no tart left over. What was the least number of boxes used by Mr. Tan? Okay, so total value type of questions where the number of boxes multiplied by the number of tarts in each box will give you the total number of tarts. And since there are two types, of boxes. So we have certain number of tarts that comes from the large and certain number of tarts that come from the small boxes. But in total, it will give us 508 tarts. Clear about this? So very uh, common mistake that a lot of students will jump to conclusion is that since I want the least number of boxes, so I will pack them into uh, as many tarts into the large boxes right they will think that i'll just pack 500 that this 500 tarts will go into 20 but then i would only be left with eight tarts and this eight tarts is not enough to fill in the 12 or to fill in the small box because the questions has another condition here that is, all the boxes were full and there was no tarts left over. So that's the tricky part here. So I want to make sure that I have the least number of boxes and yet all the boxes were full. So how do I make use of that? So here, that is where instead of random guessing, you must be sensitive to all these numbers that are presented in the question. And what are these? We know that there were a total of 508 tarts. So 508 will be written over here. That is where the grand total is. That means when I add up the total number of tarts that comes from the large boxes and the total number of tarts that come from the small boxes, that will give me a total of 508. Clear? So in this case, we are told that this is 20 tarts in the large box and this is 12 tarts in the small box. So now look at this 8 here. We know that any number when multiplied by 20 will never give you a digit that ends with 8 in a ones place because it is already in tens. So what I will get is that regardless of what number I have over here, when multiplied by 20, it will always be a zero in the ones place. So if this is zero in the ones place, if I were to start randomly guessing, that would be a bit too much of a hassle here. Then that is where you need to know that the eight in the ones place must come from that number of tarts from the small boxes. And how many, or rather, what number when multiplied by 12 will give you a number that ends in eight. And since we want to pack as many tarts into the large boxes, we will try to pack as little, as few, as few tarts in the 
uh, small boxes, right? So think of the smallest number that, when multiplied by 12, will give you a number that ends in 8. It's pretty simple. 2 times 4, give me 8. So 12 times 4, give me 48. So this is 48 here. If this is 48, then how many thoughts came from the large boxes? It must be a total of 460. And if this is 460 here, okay, which is the total number of thoughts that came from the large boxes. So how many large boxes are there? Divided by the number of thoughts in each large box. And that will give you 23. So this is 23 over here. So now you would have that only combination that will satisfy all the conditions here. And that gives you a total of 27 being the least number of boxes and yet all of the boxes were completely filled okay that's it so drop me a link or a uh, drop me a message if you like um to look at those videos that i've done earlier on that uh, shared on how to be precise in your guessing okay have a great day and hope to see you around vanessa signing off goodbye